Welcome everyone, Reborn Wolf here, and in today's video we're going to show you how to progress through Kuwait. So first things first, you're going to start off here in the south. This is a no-build area, so you don't have to worry about people having their bases here, but you will see other players spawn here. First thing you're going to want to do is head north. You're going to want to try to raid these cities on your way. Try to get all the loot you can. Make sure you collect your leather shoes like I showed you in the previous video to build up that leather set, because that's a great starter set. It'll carry you through the game all the way to the dead zone. So along the way to uh, Hawali and Kuwait City, you're going to want to pick up as many canned items as you can, specifically canned items. Now you're going to want food and water in general, but these canned items do something kind of unique. As you see here, it gave me a metal can. You might be wondering, okay, what's well, great with the metal can? That's just taking up inventory spot. Well, with that metal can, you can break it down into four scrap. And that scrap's going to come in handy, because once you have enough scrap, you can make a bucket. So I'm still a little bit shy, so I'm going to eat some chicken noodle soup, get me another can. There's another can, we can salvage that down. There's four more metal scraps, now you can go in your inventory here and make a bucket. Now you might need to invest some points into um, crafting and engineering to make this bucket. Okay, so now you got your bucket, you're pretty early in the game. Where to now? Since you've already looted these cities, you should be somewhere kind of in the su southern middle part of the map. Next up, you want to head to these oil fields over here. Again, along the way, you want to collect resources such as the leather to make the leather set. You get those from breaking down shoes. And you also want to pick up as much clothing as you can. You can break that down to cloth for dressing. But you also want to keep that cloth for what we're going to be making next. So next up, we're heading to the oil fields. All right, now we're running around the oil field and we're looking for something special. And that is these barrels here. Now I have the bucket in hand. You don't need to equip it in your weapon slot. You just put it in your hand. You're going to come over here and you're going to smack these barrels. That's going to give you bottles of oil. You're going to do that to as many of them as you can see around here. You're trying to fill up your bags with all the oils. You can see I've already gotten a little bit here. Do another one. All right, and you're also going to want to make sure you have your cooking skill up to at least cooking one. Which I'm, I'm pretty much maxed out in all my stuff. But now you're going to need a heat source. So there's luckily a heat source right here in the oil fields, and that's these giant towers. So you climb up these towers. Once you're up to the top, you can turn it on and off by using this button here. But for this purpose, we want to have it on. And now we have a heat source. So we search plastic. And here it is, bottled oil. Going to craft up a bunch of plastics. Now we're going to look up gas mask. As you can see here, the gas mask takes some scrap, so hopefully you saved up your cans from earlier. A bunch of plastic. It requires two filters and some cloths. That's why you got to grab cloth along the way. Now let's see what it takes to make these filters. The filters, scrap, which you should have. Cloth, like I said, you should have that if you were gathering it along the way. And the plastic. So now that you have all your filters together, which I should already have some. We throw our gas mask on, and you're ready to go to the dead zone. But wait, there is one more step before you go to the dead zone, and that is getting guns. Because in the dead zone, the zombies there explode, they're nasty, They you, you can't just melee them. So you're going to head, keep heading north from here and go to the Kuwait Air Base, which is uh, Saqir Air Base. So once you get up there, you're going to be able to loot up all the guns you could want. And as you make your way over towards the dead zone, you'll also find a little ranger outpost, which is marked as a no-build zone right here. And once you go in there, you can loot that up and get some ranger gear, more weapons and ammo, to start your swim over to here. So next up, we'll go show you the airbase. All right, and here we are at the airbase here. Now, you have to be careful. I am kind of on the backside, but there is a mega boss that spawns here, and that's him right there. So if you're not equipped yet, especially if it's your first time coming here, you don't want to go up to him and try to melee him. You try to melee a mega boss you're not gonna have a good time it's not gonna work out too well you have to be careful as well because there are all kinds of zombies here uh, you got flamer zombies and all that good stuff and they are military zombies so they are a lot stronger as you can see right here bam avenger we got ammo as well uh 12 gauge shotgun shell ammo and plenty of other good stuff all throughout the barracks so you want to loot that up once you're done looting that up you're going to keep heading towards the east and you're going to look for this little ranger outpost. That's going to be your next stop where you can get some more equipment. So we'll see you guys there in just a second. 
All right, here we are at the ranger location. As you can see here, they got a nice little bunker. And this is where you could find all kinds of military, or I'm sorry, not military, but ranger loot. You could drop down here, which is quite a drop. If you're lucky, you could jump in there and maybe just break a leg if you get into one of the sides. But if you see down here, oh, well, there we go. Broke my leg. But this place is filled with all kinds of ranger quality loot. So great place to stop in on your way to the dead zone. So you can loot up weapons, ammo, and all that good stuff that you're going to end up needing. Also, try to get as much cloth here as you can and metal scrap if possible so you can make extra filters because you're going to want a lot of filters to loot that dead zone. But next up, the dead zone. All right, here we are in the corner of the dead zone. And just a warning, even though the this isn't a no-build spot right here, you will still take radiation damage. So as you can see, my ticker is still ticking down. So don't think you could build right in the dead zone on the corner and, and be okay. So you have to be careful. It starts ticking down even when you're in the water. But once you get to the dead zone, you want to head over to the buildings right in this marshy area. And then there is buildings scattered all along the outside of uh, the dead zone. Now, why do you want to go through the dead zone? Well, that's to get all this cool spectral gear, like the spectral top here. It gives you 15 slots, 25% armor, and protects against fire, which is amazing on Kuwait because there is a lot of flaming zombies here. You can also upgrade your talent here with uh, different pieces from around. And that one gives you 30 slots and 17 armor. If you don't have the talent yet, you have to do the quest line to get it and rebuild it. You also can get spectral pants. They give you 12 slots and 25% armor and protect against fire. And you get the spectral helmet, which gives you 25% armor. Also unique to this dead zone is this pulse magazines and pulse magazines for rifles and for pistols. And these give you extra damage and they give you all kinds of neat bonuses. Basically, it adds like electricity to your weapon when you fire it, and you can put it in any type of uh, any type of weapon that would take magazines or uh, pistols. So as we move further into the dead zone here, you'll see that we have all kinds of uh, green and visible looking zombies. We want to take those guys out, and you do see they do explode, so you have to be careful for that. You don't want to do melee damage with these guys because they will wreck you. And luckily, he's just chasing to where the guy fell, which is perfect for us. Poke her head in here. Oh, there's a zombie after us. Take him out. They drop galvanizer batteries as well, which is a unique item in the dead zone. Here we go. Spectral cough. Just one of the items we'll need. Uh, modules, batteries. You want to pick up as much of this stuff as you can. Armor plating, because this is all stuff you're going to end up using for crafting. We see here, that's how you make your spectral helmet, spectral pants, spectral top. You can reforge the talent if you have the rusted one. It's it's amazing. You can make all kinds of cool stuff with this. Go through these crafting recipes. You can also make these neat flasks here. Only one to three infection, whereas the other flasks give you a lot more. So these are very, very nice to have. And one last thing we want to check is where to get the best weapon in this update, and that is the galvanizer. So I'll show you that next. All right, so this is the next stop, and this is where you could potentially get a galvanizer. Now, it is a rare chance to get it to drop. I've only had it drop once. It's on the top of these two towers here. So if we pull up our map, we can see, we'll zoom in for you. This is one where one of the towers is. The other one's just a little bit farther south. So you go up to these things. You don't need anything special. You just hit F to use, and it has a chance to drop a galvanizer. This one only dropped us a battery. So let's go check the next one, see if we get lucky. Here we are at the uh, lower tower, and let's see what we get. Uh, batteries. So we didn't get a galvanizer on this one, but this is definitely where it spawns. Uh, had it happen once before. If you look over here, you have these cool little markings, and that shows you the galvanizer. It's a unique gun to this map. It's uh, basically like an electric coil weapon. So that is how you progress through Kuwait as quickly as possible. Quick recap. You're going to start down here in the south. You're going to come up north. You're going to loot as much as you can. You want to get leather. You get those from the shoes. Make some leather armor. You're also going to want to get as many canned items as you can. Uh, the canned items are going to be used for breaking down into scrap. And then on the way, you also want to pick up as much clothing as you can. Break that down into cloth. You're going to move your way up here. Get to the oil field. Once you're in the oil field, you're going to turn all that metal into a bucket. Smack around the oil barrels and get oil. Then you're going to use the furnaces there to turn it into plastic then craft yourself a gas mask and filters. Then you're gonna go north, 
hit up the airbase, get as many weapons and ammo as you can. Then you're going to head east, raid this little ranger outpost, get as much weapons and ammo as you can. Make sure you have about at least four filters or so. You're going to go over the dead zone, loot up all the stuff you can. You're going to want to be able to make the full spectral armor. So loot, loot, loot. And then head over here to these different towers and try to get the galvanizer. Now there is a cooldown on it, so you won't be able to just sit here and spam using it because it won't work. Also, one other thing that's really cool in this area, there's a chance to spawn the uh, the Dune Riders or Dune, Dune Floaters, something like that. It's basically like an APC. It floats over the dunes. It goes really fast. It holds a bunch of people. It's armored. Um, and it doesn't use gasoline, which is really cool. And it could float over the water. It is slow on the water, but it's still really neat that it does that. One other thing, there's seaweed down here. And you want to get that ionized seaweed because you could use that to recharge the galvanizer if you get it. You can also use it to recharge these pulse magazines and uh, the pistol versions. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it helps you out as well. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and we will catch you out there next time.